Yes, I'm back. Now, this is the movie review I was going to do. Uh, I just now got a chance to get around to doing it. The movie review I'm doing is for Cyanide Deadly Night, 1984. Now, this is the Blu-ray release. Um, I do have this on DVD as well. It comes with uh, part one and part two together. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to... This is not going to be a very long review, but I'm just going to give... Uh, see how many um, people enjoy my reviews. If they want more, I will give more. Anyway, Silent Night, Deadly Night was made in 1983, but released in 1984. Um, it uh, stars uh, Robert Brian Wilson and Gilmore, Gilmer McCormick and Tony Nero and Lillian Chavin, I guess that's how you say her name. Um, she passed away uh, back in 2004, I believe. Um, it's also directed by Charles E. Stelier Jr., who passed away as well. Um, back in 1984, uh, uh, see, I was only like eight years old, so I never got to see this in the theater. Um, and uh, it, it spread a lot of controversy about uh, Killer Santa Claus and um, all that. You know, I mean, there was another movie called Don't Open Till Christmas that also came out the same year and never got a big controversy out of that movie. And then 19, previously, in 1980, Christmas Evil came out, and that was a very controversial movie. Um, but basically, the plot of the movie is about a killer, uh, a boy named Billy, um, who, uh, as a young boy, he and his mom and his dad go visit their their father, one of her father and his grandfather, and uh, yeah, the, the grandfather kind of scares him a little bit and says that if you're bad. Santa will come and get you if you're naughty and all that. And, and, and prior to and during this time, there's a guy in a Santa Claus suit who goes holds up a department store and shoots the department store clerk. And uh, they leave the mental institution where the grandfather is at. They go and um, they go driving, and then they see this guy who happens to be the guy that killed the department store clerk. Um, he's looking for him, and he, he needs some help because his car broke down or whatever, so he kills the father. And he kills the mother and the little boy, and he had the little brother who was a baby then, uh, little Ricky, and uh, who goes on to show up in season, uh, part two and three. And um, anyway, he goes to this uh, St. Mary's School for Catholic Children or something like that, and uh, he uh, he has all these visions of Santa Claus killing. And, uh, you know, it warped him for a long time. And Mother Superior really tortures him and ties him up and beats him with a belt, you know. Anyway, you know, basically, you got the gist of the story at the beginning of the movie. And uh, he goes, when he turns 18, he goes to work at the department store. And when it comes to Christmas time, the department store owner, uh, Mr. Sims, asks him to be Santa Claus. He dressed up Santa Claus and then... You know, he starts seeing people doing naughty things, and he kills one of his co-workers, and he kills a girl that he actually likes, and uh, he kills the department store person, and kills the owner of the store, and then he goes on a rampage. He's going, he's pretty much trying to go back to get this mother superior, and uh, it, I mean, to me, um, out of ten. Like internet movie database gives a one to ten thing. I would give this probably about a six out of ten. Um, you know, the the movie itself wasn't that bad. Um, I mean, it does a lot of. I can understand what the controversy was about. You know, having killer Santa Claus killing people and um, little small little Mitch and Linnea Quigley. Not her first movie, but a role that she got notarized for when she gets killed by being hooked in the stomach with the uh, reindeer antlers, and uh, also uh, the one woman who works at the department store who uh, works with Mr. Sims, she went on to play in Halloween uh, for The Return of Mike Myers as a paramedic, and um, Leo Getter, who also was Lene Quigley's boyfriend in that movie, he went on to play in Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Um, so basically, uh, I would get, uh, it, it's not that bad of a movie, I mean, it's not something you would want uh, any young kid to go out and see because of the, 
uh, nudity and, and violence and Santa Claus being a killer. But, um, well, this is my review of Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. And um, if I get enough likes or enough views, I may do another one of these. So, um, thanks for uh, checking on uh, my uh, new video. And I will catch you on the flip side.